Morning everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today we're going to be talking further about uh, common issues on the uh, ICOM IC7300, how to resolve them, and uh, how to do a few other things. The first thing that I would recommend if you have an ICOM IC7300 is to get a uh, an SD card for the radio and it'll go in the slot right under the uh, AF squelch control. Just push it until it clicks. You can power on your radio. If this is the first time you've put the card in, uh, it's uh, best practice to go ahead and format it from uh, the radio. The way to do that is to go into your menu, set SD card, scroll down, format, if you're going to be taking the card out while the radio is on, uh, for instance, to transfer recorded audio to a computer, I also recommend uh, doing an unmount. And then uh, I believe that there's a mount command once you put the card back in the radio, or it may auto detect it. Uh, further than that, one of the first things that you're going to want to do <clears throat> once you have a card in the radio and have it formatted is uh, go into menu, set uh, the um, SD card, and then save setting. New file. It'll give it a name automatically. Hit ENT. Save file. Yes. Completed. So now you've saved the settings that you have in the radio. And um, if you end up in a situation where you need to reset the radio, uh, then uh, you can bring those settings back in uh, from a point where everything was working and the radio should be uh, back to the way you had it set when it was working correctly. Alright, so for common issues that you'll have on the ICOM IC7300. There are times where um, you may end up with uh, a horrible screeching in the radio uh, on single sideband, uh, almost like feedback. What's happened there is that uh, monitor has been turned on. So normally, and we're on a dummy load right now, if you transmit with the radio, you get something like this. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No problem. So, if monitor is on, you'll end up with something more like this. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo. Now, if you have your AF turned up, Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, you end up in a situation where you do get feedback. Best thing to do there is just go into function, make sure monitor's turned off. That's probably going to fix your problem. Uh, next, the another common problem that I have seen is that uh, you'll end up not having any output on single sideband. What's happened there is that USB, uh, your data off mod has probably been set to USB or accessory and uh, mic is not in the list. Uh, a lot of times so, uh, control software, uh, various different packages if they're not polite or if they crash they'll um, leave mic turned off uh, I've even seen RSBA1 do this. So easiest solution there is uh, just to go in to your menu and then set connectors, data off mod, just make sure that it's either mic or mic accessory. And then that way, actually let's demonstrate that. If I set it to strictly USB, And transmit KD5 TKR testing one two three four five. No transmit. It looks like something's wrong with the radio, and you would think that maybe uh, you're having an issue with your finals, not enough power, something. And really, what it is is just that you don't have mic in the list of inputs. So now. KD5 TKR testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now it's working, and uh, it, it's a, an issue that might end up making you reset the radio if you don't know what's going on 
the first time it happened to me, I reset the radio to get it back into a usable state. Uh, I've since found out that that's the issue that caused that. <clears throat> now, speaking about resetting the radio, since we've already saved our settings, we can go to Menu, Set, Others, Reset. Now, there's Partial Reset and All Reset. Partial Reset uh, is basically like doing a CPU reset. It just clears out some of the registers and puts the radio back into a, a, an initial state, but not a factory reset state. All Reset resets everything in the radio back to, uh, to factory. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, carefully read the next caution. Clears all settings and memories. Are you sure? It tells you all reset. We're back to factory settings. If we turn the radio off and turn it back on, we see that it doesn't even have the uh, call sign display that you can set up. So what we'll do to restore our settings is we'll go to menu, set, others, uh, actually, that's the wrong menu, SD card, load setting. And then we have our menu that shows us uh, our, back, our uh, backup uh, files, our saved files. And uh, I'm just going to choose the most recent one, the one from today. And you can either select what you want to restore or you can restore all. We'll do all. Uh, load file, the new ref adjust setting will be saved. So basically, uh, like your warp adjustment, your, your frequency accuracy, that's actually saved in that file. So we're going to tell it it's okay to restore that. So now we need to restart the 7300. And you can see my call sign is back. And we're back to the settings we were on before, uh, including the frequency and uh, how the waterfall is displayed. And we can even go uh, to our uh, memories, and uh, we're back on uh, track there where we were. So that's uh, some quick information on some common issues, and also how to back up your uh, settings on the radio and restore them. If anybody has any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have any comments, uh, you can let me know there as well. Uh, if you found this video helpful, I, I would hope that you would uh, share it, like it, uh, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be having more uh, information about the 7300 as well as uh, other issues pertaining to uh, amateur radio, vintage computers, uh, building an operational workbench uh, for working on electronics, and uh, a lot of other things. So uh, stay tuned, and I hope everybody has a great day.